Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the next installment of my updated top five series. So if you are new, because I know a lot of y'all are, I started a top five series probably about a year ago and every month I would do my top five products within a certain category of makeup. And the first one was foundation and I just redid my updated version of that last month. So this month I went back and checked to see what the second installment of that series was last year and it was top five blushes. So that's what we're here to do today. We are going to talk about my top five blushes. Now, just like I did in the foundation updated video, I will tell you really quickly what my top five blushes were originally. And I will also link it up here in a card if you wanna go back and watch that video. I did upload it on January 16th of this year, so it has been almost a year. So the blushes that I mentioned were Becca Luminous Blushes, Sephora Baked Blush Duo, Charlotte Tilbury Swish and Pop Blushers, NARS Madly, and Hourglass Mood Exposure. Now, the way I did that video was I really kind of talked about brands that I liked the blushes in. So I told you the brand that I liked, and I told you and showed you all of the blushes that I had within that brand. This time, I'm going to do specific blushes. I'm not gonna talk about the whole brand. I'm just gonna tell you what I would pick if somebody said you have five minutes to get everything that you wanna keep out of your makeup stash, and you can only pick five things from each one or each category, what five blushes are you gonna pick? Okay, so I'm only gonna show you five single blushes. I know I have forgotten to do this in a couple of the other favorites, but I will start out by telling you how many blushes I do own, which will give you an indication of how hard or easy it may have been for me to narrow down to my top five. So I have 40 individual blushes and five blush palettes. Now mind you, this is not including what I carry in my kit. This is all from my personal stash. So I have narried, nar narried, narried, Oh, narrowed down the 40 individual and five palettes to my top five. As always, I'm going to go in no particular order. However, I am going to save my very, very favorite to the end. So let's start out. There's only two blushes in here that were our repeats from my original video. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with one of those and let you know that this has not changed. Again, I feel like I always have to do this disclaimer. But just because I'm not mentioning the same ones that I mentioned last time I did this video does not mean that I don't still love those blushes. I 150% still love them. It's just at the moment, this is what I would pick. So this one is NARS Madly. Again, if you watched that video, if you didn't, this is the blush that you're gonna pick up in store and be like, what is that? Like, it doesn't look good. It doesn't swatch good. It's just, Meh, like, meh. It, may, it reminds me of that emoji movie that we just saw with our kids where he's like the meh emoji. That kind of, it reminds me of that. Like, it's just like a, mm, it's all right. Even when you swatch it on your hand, it's just all right. Like, you probably won't even be able to see that from where I'm sitting to where you're watching. It's just okay. But then you put a brush to it and you put it on your cheeks and it's more than okay. This is another one of those blushes that I have mentioned before where it can go with anything. It's just des described as a soft seashell pink. I don't find that it's pink per se. I find it's more peach than anything, but really it's just a nice nude blush. It's very, very versatile and it can go with absolutely anything. It is matte. It has, if you go look at it like a dis distinct angle, you might see a little bit of sparkle in it, but it's, it's pretty matte. I mean, it's matte. It doesn't come off anything but matte on the cheeks. So NARS Madly is still an absolute favorite go-to of mine. It's great for travel because I like the size of those blushes and because I can take that one blush and know that it's gonna go with whatever eye look, whatever lip color, whatever I'm going to wear when I'm traveling, it will go with it. My next one is probably, no, it's not the most expensive one. It's the second most expensive one. And it is by Chanel. Now I have only, purchased two Chanel blushes, but this is the first one that I got and it's still my favorite. I swatch them every time I go into Nordstrom, but none of none of the other ones other than ones I have really speak to me, but this one 
speaks to me and it's going to look very much like madly in the pan this is elegance if i didn't say and again it's just a very neutral beautiful peachy i mean it does look a lot like madly in the pan but it comes off more peach where madly is a little bit more nude again so it's a little bit peachier it does have kind of the same finish on the skin it is a matte blush you don't need both of these so obviously the nars is going to be cheaper than the chanel but if you like elegance everybody always talks about these smelling i just don't have a good nose because i can't smell it if you're wanting luxury and you want to start out with buying a chanel blush and you don't have one yet i highly suggest elegance i honestly don't even know why i tried to film on the same days that i wash my hair because all I do is mess with it. I know it's gotta be so freaking annoying for y'all because I know some people that I watch that all they do is mess with their hair. I'm like, stop touching your hair. <laughs> okay, this next one is actually the newest one out of the five to my collection and it is a palette. It's the only palette I'm gonna talk about and I can definitely say that I like every color within this palette so it really is the whole palette that I love and it's the Sephora Winter Flush Palette. I feel like I talk about this in every video lately, but rightfully so, because it really is so incredibly beautiful. It has every blush color you really would ever need. It has a plum color, a peach, a pink color, a peachy color, and then more like a bronzy with a little bit more of an orange. You don't need anything else. And do you want to know the best thing about this palette? It's $16. It is $16. Now, I believe it is a limited edition item so if you are watching this like way after I upload it you may not be able to get your hands on this but if you're watching it within the first couple months please see if Sephora has this go in store see if they have it if it's sold out online it is a must-have and really an amazing Christmas present for anybody that has like a teenager they're wanting to get something for because it's so affordable yet so good now all of the colored sections are matte and then they have a strip of shimmer on the outer side which really can't be i mean maybe the pink one could be used as a highlight yeah the pink shimmer that could be used as a highlight right over here i just put my my brush in all of it and kind of mix it all together and it gives a beautiful finish and i just took a chunk out of it with my finger <gasps> no look at that do you see that right up there i mean it's a blush manny it's a blush who cares all right now i feel like all of the at least the single ones that i've shown you have been very neutral blushes or on the peachier warmer tone um, obviously there were some plum and pinks in the palette but this is the only individual pink one that i'm going to show you and man is it pink <laughs> It is another repeat from my original video, and it is the Becca Luminous Blush. Now, I had talked about loving all of them, and I do. Um, I have, I think I have four of them now, and then maybe one or two in a palette. But if I was going to pick a color from within the ones that I have to keep, it would be this one, and it's Camellia. It's a gorgeous, I believe it's um, described as like a ballet pink. It looks very scary in the pan. When you're talking about putting something on your face that's this color and even swatched it can look a little i don't know like i may not want to put that on my face but when you use a light hand and a fluffy brush with this it is so gorgeous on the cheeks it looks so good in photographs it looks really good with a highlight, but it also looks really good without one. It's so luminous that you don't need one, but it's not so luminous, I don't feel, that it's going to really accentuate like pores or fine lines because you really do need to use the smallest, smallest amount because of how pigmented these are and because you're not going to be caking it on to get the finished color and look that you want. I really don't think you're going to have an issue with it accentuating Anything I have used, I love the color Tiger Lily. I use that a lot on my Mother's of the Bride because it is such a vibrant color. And as we age, we need a little bit more color in our face because we lose so much of our natural color. And I just think it's it looks, it never exaggerates anything that doesn't want to be exaggerated. And they're just... And finally, we're going to talk about my very 
favorite blush and of course because I seem to be extra sometimes when it comes to makeup it's going to be the most expensive one that I'm talking about. It is the one I have on my cheeks today and it is the Tom Ford Inhibition blush. I've talked about this a lot since I have purchased it a few months ago and with good reason. Again it looks a lot like Madly and Elegance but I do find this one to be different enough to warrant having this and one of the others. I don't know why. I can't tell you why. I just, that's what I personally feel. And it's a matte blush. Again, very, very neutral. Will go with anything. It's buildable. It doesn't give you too much pigment when you first apply it. But if you want to put more, you can. No problem. It's abs. It's just so gorgeous. I know a lot of y'all have bought this since I originally recommended it. And everyone who's bought it, who's commented, has told me they love it. Y'all probably aren't going to comment and tell me you hate it since I've recommended it, but I really think you'll love it. Regardless, I think you'll love it. I know the VIB sale is done now, but I also know that people are going to be getting gift cards for Christmas, and this is something that I would 100,000% suggest using your gift card on, either at Sephora or Nordstrom. You will not be disappointed. It is gorgeous. And the packaging. Can we just talk about the packaging? Again, I'm not huge on packaging, but it is so nice and looks just kind of pops right in. It does show fingerprints, but really, what doesn't? People show stuff all the time and they're like, oh, it shows fingerprints. I've said it before too. I don't have a single makeup product that does not show my fingerprints. I mean, that's just the way of the world. I don't, I, I don't, I don't get it. I'm going to stop myself because I felt like I might be starting to go on a rant and I don't want to do that. So, <laughs> Um, that covers my top five blushes. Hopefully this helped y'all, gave you some ideas, reinforced your favorite. If it's in my favorites and you're like, yes, you know what? You're right. Or I have that in my drawer. I haven't used it in a while. Maybe I should get it out and try it again. Whatever the reason, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very blessed day.